G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, so today we're back on Space Engineers and what I'm going to show you is how to find Uranium and Platinum. Now Uranium and Platinum are some of the rarest ores in the game um, and they can be quite difficult to find sometimes. Now Uranium is an ore that can only be found in asteroids and Platinum is an ore that can only be found in asteroids. Uh, it can also be found on the Moon and also Europa. Now the reason why Platinum can be found on the Moon and Europa and Uranium can't is because Platinum is used for ion thrusters and basically what that allows you to do is on the Moon and Europa you can build an ion based ship because those planets obviously don't have an atmosphere so atmospheric thrusters aren't going to work there. So that's why Keen decided to put that on those planets. Now. One of the main things, um, or one of the main issues you're going to have when you're trying to find uranium is that you're going to have to go from asteroid to asteroid to asteroid and scan them all to try and find it. Now, one of the main issues is the asteroids are actually a bigger diameter than the diameter of your ore scanner. So the ore scanner, you know, can probably go 150 meters, the large grid one. Um, but a lot of asteroids are about, you know, can be up to a kilometer thick. So what you would have to do normally is go around the entire asteroid and scan its entire surface to find the ore that you want. But what I do is I actually use a mod called High Range Ore Detectors. Um, now this mod's available on Steam, obviously. Um, you just download it from the workshop. Um, and what this does is it increases the range of the large grid ore detectors from 150 meters to 1.25 kilometers. So I'll just demonstrate this. So we'll go into the cockpit of this ship here that does have an ore detector installed already. So you can see with this mod here, we can increase the range of this ore detector to 1.25 kilometers. Now one of the things to keep in mind with this mod is that it does use a little bit of performance when you're using it. So if you set the ore detector range to about 150 meters, which is basically the stock distance that it has, then you're not going to run into any performance issues. But the higher you go with it, so say you set it to about a thousand meters, uh, if you type it correctly. So if you set it to about a thousand meters and then you start moving the ship around, you might notice the game starts to stutter a bit. So if, if, you do, if you are having performance issues, then this is most likely the culprit. So it's one of those things where you only really want to use it when you're searching for ores inside of asteroids. Um, other than that, I don't think I would use it because it just uses a lot of the resources of your computer and it actually slows down the game. And I believe this is also one of the reasons why Keen have put such a small distance on the ore detectors in the vanilla game is to not make the game run better for a lot more people. So yeah, um, this mod is absolutely invaluable when you're trying to find uranium. Um, what it allows you to do is not actually have to scan the entire asteroid. So what you can do is you can fly up to an asteroid and you can sit about, you know, a kilometer off it and you can see what, what ores it has. So if we bring up our HUD and we turn our ore detector on, so we can see there that 700 meters away from us on this asteroid we have some ice and cobalt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I do to find uranium. So we're going to move over to this asteroid here. So let's change our view, move our ship over. And you can see the game is starting to stutter a little bit, but not too much. get a little bit closer yeah so here we uh, have iron and nickel so then 
basically what I would do is just mark this spot with my GPS. And then basically from there you just move on to the next asteroid. Now, obviously if you're using a hydrogen ship, the way I just showed you to do it is not very fuel efficient. So if you want it to be a little bit more fuel efficient, what you can do is you can um, obviously group your thrusters in a way where you can turn your front facing thrusters off and then just sort of glide past the asteroid very closely and then just drop a GPS marker there just so that you don't go over the same asteroid again and again and again because it can get quite confusing um, so yeah this this process can take a while um, there's been some days where I've kind of given up trying to search for it and then I've jumped on the next day and then I found it in the uh, in the very first asteroid um, but yeah I mean basically you just need to keep keep looking so if if you go from asteroid to asteroid to asteroid then you will most definitely find uranium you just need to yeah you just need to go from asteroid to asteroid and as i said before the high range ore detectors mod it's definitely definitely a good idea to have this mod um, it will make your life so much easier when you're trying to find uranium and as you can see um we're 300 meters away from these ores so I would literally need to be touching this asteroid before my ore detector would even ping these ping these ores. Um, so yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'll move on to the next asteroid. And where's the next nearest asteroid? We might target this one. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to fix up my groups. Uh, so we go thrusters. Backward thrusters. Cool. Alright, now that that's fixed. Uh, I'm going to head over to this asteroid here actually. This one looks a lot closer. So we'll head on over to this asteroid. <coughs> just turn my front facing thrusters off and we'll just glide to the asteroid. And as you can see, we're not using any fuel. So this particular ship, it just has um, two large hydrogen thrusters and then um, I think about three small hydrogen tanks. Or did I say thrusters before I meant tanks? Um, so it's not, it doesn't have the greatest range and the greatest fuel capacity. Um, but with this ship in one of my saves, I was able to basically get myself up into space uh, run around to about 25, 30 asteroids, find the uranium that I needed, and then obviously mined it and then came back. And I think I still had probably about 50% of my fuel left. Um, so what we want to do is just slow down a little bit here, so turn my thrusters back on. And then we'll just kind of... So as you can see, we're just kind of gliding by the asteroid. And you can slow yourself down a little bit. And it looks like the only thing this asteroid is going to give us is iron. Uh, and what you want to do as well is look out for these little, these little pieces of voxel or asteroid. Because if you smack into one of them, it might look small, but it's definitely enough to kill your ship. Or at least put a decent size hole in it. So we'll just go to new from current position. We'll call this asteroid iron 2. And then we'll exit that. And then we'll move on to the next asteroid. So we'll go on to this one here. Give ourselves a little bit more gas. And as you can see by our fuel usage in the bottom right corner, we're barely even using our tanks. So this is definitely a very helpful, um, a very good way, an efficient way to search for ores. Uh, let's see what this thing has. Oh, 
almost there. Again, you want to watch out for these really tiny pieces of asteroid. Yeah, oh, iron again. Yeah, so you're going to get a lot of that. You're just going to basically be going from asteroid to asteroid. But, as I said, eventually you will find some. But, I mean, if, if they made it very easy to find, then I guess it would be quite boring. So... Oh, whoops. I forgot to set my GPS. So ideally you would want to do that before you go past the asteroid. You know. So I'll end that iron three. If I go to enough of these. Alright. So I think I'll just stand stop here. Yeah, it will stop here. Alright. Well, that's probably going to be it for this video. Um, I'm sure you don't want to see me go through about 30 different asteroids before we actually find some uranium um, or platinum. So, yeah, basically, I hope that video was helpful for you guys. I hope it helps you find your uranium and platinum a little bit easier. So now you sort of know where you can actually find it and where you're not going to find it. So you're not going to go stir crazy thinking that it doesn't exist, you know, after you've searched 30 asteroid. It is definitely there, but it's probably going to take you a little while. So, I hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, definitely consider liking it and uh, consider subscribing to the channel for more content. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Cheers.